Hello and thanks for being a part of this new channel, Tales from the Window Sill. You know, I started writing back in the 90s uh, quite by accident, or perhaps by providence. It kept me going and kept me alive and gave me a, a forum and an output for, for the, all the words and um, rhyme that was expressing itself through my pen that I had no idea was there, but did want out. Over the course of the last several years, I've produced many uh, stories and CDs, music CDs. And I'll be releasing those songs on this channel one by one, and I, I hope you enjoy them. One of the stories that I wrote some time ago was called The Scarlet Thread. And uh, this involved the story of a boy coming of age in America of a hundred years ago. And eventually I decided to record it, so I went into a professional recording studio, found musicians, got the songs, the traditional classic songs that uh, were not copyrighted, and they played various versions of them on the CD, and uh, I did all of the parts. There was something like 12 different, uh, 14 different voices in there. I wasn't necessarily disguising my voice, but just trying to play the different characters. And uh, we added sound effects, and I think you'll find this to be a, an interesting story. It's great to listen to on long car rides. Um, you know, there was a blind woman I sold this uh, CD to once, and she enjoyed it. For me, it's always been the idea of to make a talking book, and let's see who it speaks to. It's called The Scarlet Thread, a novel of finding one's true friends. I'll just read uh, the information on the back of the CD so you can know what it's about. Set in 1889, a younger America, the story opens midway through the trial of an independent spirited 15 year old Will Templeton. Ill fitting to the pecking order and pigeonholes of society, Will inclines instead to the teachings of nature and ghosts of the past. Finding his element in the woods and waters surrounding a divided town of buried secrets, he uncovers the meaning of both friendship and prejudice, tied to a forgotten scarlet thread. In the tradition of campfire stories and radio shows of yesteryear, turn out the lights and follow the winding trail into the forest with the author as he narrates this tale as witnessed in a dream. Yes, the story came to me in a dream. The first entire chapter was a dream, and the rest was just fleshed out over the course of a couple of years. It's for ages 8 to 80, and perhaps beyond, of those also seeking a way home. I'll release this chapter by chapter, and I do hope you'll enjoy it. Please uh, like, share, and subscribe to my site. Let me know what you think, and I'll be looking for you in... Perhaps we can all find a way home together. <laughs> Until next time, I'll see you on the screen.